If there's one thing I believe modern games need most, it's passion. Not this. And definitely not this. Hello! I like money! As you probably know, there has been a wave of gamers criticizing the decline of modern gaming. They're the honest criticisms of modern gaming's ugly side. Battle passes, bundles, unfinished releases, a code of conduct for Call of Duty players of all communities. It's ridiculous. It's gotten to the point where the fun in modern gaming feels like it's just dying out. It feels like the game developers aren't as passionate as they used to be to make a good game. And I have a feeling that everyone feels the exact same way. So why isn't passion brought up more? Successful modern games like Elden Ring, Baldur's Gate 3, and Pal World have proven that if passionate game developers prioritize fun gameplay over greedy microtransactions, players respond well to that. Seems simple, right? But too many AAA studios have their heads so far up their asses, all they see is brown. They just can't seem to grasp it. FIRMLY GRASP IT! <laughs> so in this video, I'm gonna explain to you exactly what you came here for. Why modern games desperately need passion, like they used to have in the good old days. Let's start with where the inspiration for this video began. The first time I played a modern game and didn't want to jump off the tallest mountain I could find within driving distance. Don't forget to strike those like and subscribe buttons, like YouTube might do to this video by the end of it. It was November of 2018, and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 released. I know, crazy that was over 5 years ago, back when the rise of Fortnite was killing all hope for the future of online shooter games. Boy, if I was a betting man. Anyway, it was the yearly tradition of being a Call of Duty Christmas noob, but this time I made a deal and got it on release as an early Christmas gift, a move which I hadn't pulled since Call of Duty Ghost back in 2013. Yes, I also had a high IQ back then as well. I played that on and off all the way through Christmas, simultaneously claiming I hate the game and calling it the worst COD ever, while also eventually getting to Prestige Master. So yeah, what do you want me to say? I was your typical COD player. So Christmas Day comes around and, for some dumbass reason, with my high Elon Musk-like IQ, Something dawned on me. I normally only ask for Call of Duty on Christmas, but the problem was I already got that. I know, first world problems. I really had nothing to look forward to in terms of new games because my openness to trying anything other than an FPS game was smaller than the average Fortnite kid's brain. So I just decided I was going to enjoy the day and probably continue to just ride out Black Ops 4. It kind of took pressure off in a way. That is until something unexpected happened. It was the pivotal moment my life changed forever. I opened a game that I know for a fact was not on my list. Huh. Red Dead Redemption 2. I've heard of this game a couple times. Eh. I'll give it a shot at some point. What do I have to lose? Precious time on Call of Duty? Yeah. If it saves me from that hellhole, it's gotta be worth a shot. Well, here we are. Red Dead Redemption 2. It should at least be a good change of scenery. Better than facing sweats in the year 3000 and getting zapped into the fetal position. My gosh, I hate specialists. Well, here goes nothing. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Get lost, buddy. Shut up, mister. Yeah, shut your mouth, mister. I am in love. So yeah, it didn't take very long for me to fall in love with Red Dead. It was easy to tell this game was made with passion by talented developers who genuinely cared about their craft not by a bunch of nitwits who cared more about selling battle passes and overpriced skins. One of the things I was most impressed with was the insane attention to detail. I had never played on such a huge map, but I also had never been blown away by how beautiful a game could look. You could tell the developers truly cared about portraying the beauty of nature. They mastered the art of immersion. The fact that this game didn't win Game of the Year in 2018 floors me. I could go on and on about how thrilling the story is, how great the characters are, how iconic the scene with Arthur Morgan and Lenny is. Lenny! Bastard! More iconic than no Russian, fight me in the comment section. But it was in the little moments of playing that the passion behind Red Dead shined through to me. Even after I completed the main storyline, I still enjoyed playing. And I'm not even referring exclusively to all the endless side missions you can accomplish like hunting or whatnot. Sorry tree huggers. But I just enjoyed going through what people would deem as mundane tasks. I love playing as John Marston and working on the ranch even if it's not exciting. Whether it's milking the cows, Feeding the chickens, hauling hay bales, cleaning up massive cow turds. The work oddly gives me peace of mind. It's funny saying that through a video game, but it's honestly my experience. And that's the thing that blew my mind. Red Dead impacted my life beyond the game itself. Yes, I was passionate about the game, and I appreciate the passion put into it by Rockstar. But it didn't only expand my gaming variety. 
The amazing thing is, I became passionate about something new that I could take into my personal life. My experience on Red Dead inspired me to envision a bigger future in my life. I never thought a video game could truly inspire me. I mean inspire on a deeper level than like, wow, this game actually makes me want to smash the nearest object within my vicinity because of how bad it is. You know what I mean. The thought of a modern game leaving me with my sanity sounded crazy to me alone. I never knew anything different. The biggest thing Red Dead reminded me of was how much we're missing out on, you know, all the small yet beautiful moments of life, and as far away as I can get from battle passes and Nicki Minaj skins. Just get out there and touch grass as they say. Red Dead Redemption 2 speaks volumes about how important it is to be passionate in whatever you do. If the developers at Rockstar kind of just went through the motions just to get the game out as a cash grab, then we would not have felt this way about the game. We would have known, we're not all that stupid. Red Dead would have been remembered as another what could have been in the dark pit of modern games. But again, the developers of this masterpiece show that more passion you put into these modern games, odds are, the better it's going to be received. It's truly that simple. And that is what I believe modern games desperately need to get back to for a gaming revival. That is a fish. So what can we take from all this, basically? Well, first, you definitely should consider removing your head from your ass before deciding to release an unfinished, soulless game and rip people off. In all honesty, I told that story of my first experience with Red Dead 2 because it was eye-opening to me. It was like, wow, these AAA developers really are half-assing it. We could be getting a lot more, but they're just so damn lazy because that's all it takes to sell games nowadays. People go crazy for bundles. What the hell is even that?! I cannot stress this enough. We have a rubber duck in Call of Duty multiplayer. Remember when everyone used the default military skin? Yeah, not anymore. Because no matter what modern AAA game it is, it can be released in a subpar state because all you need to do is market the game well with the cool looking trailer and pump out a bunch of skins to keep the casual players happy. As a result, loyal fans grow tired of your bullshit and quit your games because you've made it clear to them that they are no longer your target audience. And quantity is now far more important than quality. <laughs> This doesn't make any sense. Too bad. Don't get me wrong. I don't expect every game to take a decade to develop. And I don't expect games to have a story with a playtime of 50 hours. But I do expect developers to instill passion into their games. Like a 3 hour total playtime for the Modern Warfare 3 campaign? Are you kidding me? I take dumps that last longer than that. That's probably not a healthy comparison. And let's not forget, we got all these classic Call of Duties back to back for 6 years in a row. And I can assure you, they did not have 3,000 developers working on these games. I believe the Fortnite influence of battle passes and skins have plagued modern games, which has resulted in passion being removed from the equation, and replaced with a soulless formula of monetizing stupidity. This is why modern games desperately need passion, like there used to be in our favorite games. If you want to see a new golden era of gaming, developers have got to get back to that. And I have to get back to working on the next video for you guys. So if you'd like to hear me speak some more truth about modern games, be sure to check out this video in the middle of your screen. I gotta go see the shit doctor. Oh, and one more thing I need you to know. I am a shit you know. Just been one.